Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to Vigo's World. I hope you guys are feeling fantastic today. I know I am. Hope you guys are excited for a new episode where we are going to continue working on our base. As I mentioned last episode, I want to work on a little campsite over here where we're going to build some small tents and stuff and then continue the forest around here and making this area very cozy, trying to play around with a couple of tent designs and, and, and use a new fire campfire block and stuff and just... Um, Kind of bring this whole area here uh, further in here. So I've been spending some time clearing out this area because as you probably remember, it was just packed with chests, furnaces, crafting tables, uh, all the kind of stuff. It's getting nighttime. I better get to sleep. Uh, but yeah, that's taken me kind of a while because I had to sort the chests and stuff. But it's gone and I'm ready to do a little bit of building today. Our first visitor is here, he's ready to uh, get uh, nice and cozy inside our tents here. I've been doing some work, uh, let's see what this dude has, do you have any good trades for me? Because if not, I'll just get out of here, you know? Uh, I, I, I'm not paying an emerald for a mushroom, no, 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 no. Uh, get out of here, man. I don't need you. Uh, but yeah, I've been working a little bit and I think it's looking pretty cool. Um, the tents uh, are different uh, we have two shapes we have this uh, normal one then we have a circular like a tp tent uh, i think we're gonna have both of them like that uh, and just kind of leave that as the main uh, main design for this camp uh, i love the way it looks and one thing i figured out was maybe we could mix in some red with um with this and that could just make it look a little bit more we should say like uh, worn out, more, um, less perfect, in whoa, ho, ho, hello there, uh, less perfect in a way, which I think is very important when you're doing Minecraft, is trying to find that sweet spot of, um, clean and, and not clean, if that makes sense, probably not, uh, but, uh, in my brain, it makes sense, so if we do something like that, uh, let, let's switch out these two blocks as well, and I really think we're cooking with gas here So let's see how that is. It's getting nighttime as well here um, Yeah, that actually changes. Hello, you gone? <laughs> these dudes, you know these dudes. I also want to see how the brown terracotta works with this it might be way too dark uh, <laughs> and also uh, uh, the traveler moved in. Uh, apparently this is occupied for now. I think that works. If we make some patches of this brown one, uh, with, uh, we, we can really make this uh, work here. Uh, as it looks like it's kind of been patched up over time. Like, let's say the, it's built out of leather and they... Um, please give me those back. I've been farming those forever. Um, like, yeah, you know, like layers of uh, leather, maybe... Over time, it has broken down, you know, started leaking, and they've um, uh, just added some more leather to it, like, uh, yeah. Uh, so I think just changing that up a little bit might, uh, yeah, definitely, that really helps us. So let's do um, a little bit more up here. You can also see I added these banners here, which I think gives this nice, um, uh, nice little detail. So just something a little different. But uh, yeah, let's do that, and uh, let's give another one here, and maybe a few on this other side here. So let's try to get up here, and then we will do, uh, let's say here, and yeah, let's go there. And then we kind of mix that up a little bit and let's just step back and see how that works. Not gonna lie, that really just changed the whole atmosphere here. Now it feels um, it feels more alive once we just added that and I'm very happy with how that actually turned out. And of course we gotta add a little campfire here. So uh, let's um, 
maybe remove some of these blocks like that and, and possibly like so as well and, and uh, let's uh, add gravel there just so we keep it a little bit mixed up so we'll do that and, and a campfire right so oh that is beautiful um and then we can add some logs to sit on shall we like is that like too big <laughs> or no nah, i think we can play with that i think um uh, come back here block. I think we can make that work uh, But I'm not really sure uh, it is kind of big Maybe you guys have suggestions if I don't come up with anything else during the video uh, Leave them down below or at Twitter or something like that uh, But for now, let's keep it like that what I want to do now uh, Just to get a little break from this is to go mining and, and uh, Take it from there That was quite a bit of mining and as you could see from the, the cinematic view of me using my fortune pick on those, uh, we got quite a bit of stuff. Uh, there's actually some cold ore we forgot uh, and then a couple of iron ore, but just look at this, pretty cool stuff. Uh, and it's, it's good to just keep on grinding that in the beginning so we don't have to spend hours upon hours whenever we need, let's say iron for a farm or we need coal for something, you know, it's good to just put out a couple of hours for um, every week so you kind of build up uh, a surplus of that uh, but I've been working on some trees as well here uh, trying to to make something that looks a little better and uh, I think this tree here is a lot better than this and I'm not sure why um, so uh, I'll probably try to recreate this kind of tree but I want to uh, have mix er, a little bit of a mix of of the leaves like we have the spruce and then also the oak leaves um, because we they just gives us a little gradient of color uh, and uh, I would love to see how let's say acacia would look uh, I think that's very similar to oak so it might not be worth mixing that in but I, th I should have something over here and I just want to see how how that would work with um, the colors that we have so uh, acacia leaves and oak leaves acacia uh, and I just need a tool so I can harvest it again and um, Come back. Thank you So we'll go over here and just see how the acacia works with this and I think we're gonna spend a little bit of time Doing landscaping for today kind of terraforming this whole area here uh, Also doing a little bit of planning Because uh, uh, you know, we need to build some paths and stuff. This is my mining area and, and we need to make sure that we we have access to all of that, but uh, let me see here. We have this it is basically the same texture so it's not worth uh, well I guess we could mix it up anyway because uh, I already have a little bit of that so uh, instead of go grinding for oak leaves we could definitely use that but um yeah we'll, we'll maybe mix that up a little bit I also changed these um, sitting areas to um, slabs and I think that works better it seems more and more natural in the size of it uh, and added some bushes and stuff here and it's kind of coming along here I really want to spend a lot of time adding stuff to this and giving functionality to this place uh, I'm going to use this um, this red tent for my temporary base while I'm down here you know that's my house up there uh, but usually I'm working down here and and running up there to sleep is uh, very time consuming so I use this for when I'm like landscaping and stuff and I was thinking maybe we can make this into uh, a brewing stand or a brewing tent I think that would be kind of cool like um, uh, having a brewing stand and cool like witch hut thing I don't know and uh, I think that could look pretty cool uh, just to give the, the tent some functionality I think that is very important instead of just uh, building for the looks of it 
because I do that in creative. But uh, in survival, I like to build with uh, some functionality bound to it. Would you look at that? The jungle leaves has a little different texture. And uh, we have this almost look like, like berries in a way. Uh, and I think that could be super cool to use as like for a foliage uh, at the ground level. So I'll head over to the, the jungle here and just uh, get a couple of those leaves. So what I want to do for uh, for this area here is, when it comes to lighting, I, I want to remove most of the torches. And then we can maybe do like something like that to, to just add some light in here. I don't want uh, all the mobs to be spawning all the time. So I think that's a nice way of just adding a little bit of light and, and still kind of keep it looking cool um, and natural in a way like that I would say not too bad and because this whole area is so big and if we uh, leave it unlit up it's gonna be a pain for us uh, in the end so I think it's um, just good adding some of that I think it's gonna work you know you can kind of still see it but I don't know uh, if we do some more landscaping around here and um, you know adding in some Blocks which I have over here. Yeah, just mix it up a little bit I think uh, we can make that work with these and kind of mix those in in between the um, The trees and such I don't think that's gonna be a big problem Yeah, I think the colors work and just having a little different texture uh, Gives this area or the bushes a little bit more interest. I think been working on this landscaping here a little bit, adding a lot more texture, a lot more blocks, and a lot more bushes and stuff, and it's coming along, it's now nicely um, faded into this old area, and uh, I really like it, and um, the light leaves, <laughs> it really works. The lantern leaves uh, added some rocks and kind of faded it into the riverbed over here. Uh, a lot of these wheat blocks because of the color. I just love the way that works with what we have here. So I think um, I think we're onto something. I think it will work as we proceed with this. Um, I'm gonna add a couple of trees to this area here and also probably all the way around here, and then. Maybe I want to do a bridge or something over here So we'll have to maybe tie this path up to here because I think just having a bridge over this little canyon here Would be awesome or maybe just over here or something uh, But uh, it's getting very dark um, But yeah, uh, I think we're good. I want to do a little bit of a um, quick build mode uh, It's very uh, much easier for me to, to do the building when I don't have to speak too much about it. So uh, I think we'll go ahead, put on some music, sit back, relax and enjoy some uh, very fast uh, building. Well, that was a lot of fun building. I had such a great time. Uh, I did a little stream where we uh, together kind of worked on this entire area. Uh, and we ended up actually doing more than I was planning to, which is always great. Um, that's not the wrong button. Ah, uh, there we go. Thank you. I love this place. I think it turned out pretty good. Love the trees, love the landscaping. And I'm going to take a little look at that. Uh, and also some of the other features that we decided to add uh, spontaneously during the stream, which just takes this build to the next level, I think. First of all, just a bunch of trees around here. Some small ones, some big ones, different kind of colors. Uh, and then a lot of vegetation happening with like bushes uh, here. Uh, we did the same thing over here, like just a lot of bushes, uh, vegetation growing. Uh, great big tr Oh, hello, dirt block. You're not supposed to be here. Thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, a lot of these trees and also did some terraforming when it comes to the mountain here. Because uh, in the stream, we kind of figured that 
this mountain here is way too steep to be just dirt so we want to try to uh, replace a lot of the sides here with stone and that probably goes for most of these areas as you can see it's like there it is super steep so I, I would rather do like cliffs of stone like we have here um, and then we can have uh, let's get around here and I will try to show you can I oh that worked out perfectly um, like small trees up here and then we can do like another cliff face going up to the top and then kind of working with that like maybe plateaus uh, where we have trees growing and just going to be a better way of texturing the sides but also a better way of um, doing trees and stuff it's pretty hard to do trees in steep areas so if you can make plateaus it would be a lot better and also creates just for a more unique area so yeah i think that turned out pretty good i'm very happy with all the progress we have been able to do in today's episode uh, which is always a lot of fun and then we have uh, this path here leading over to a little bridge with it. I talked about this, that I wanted to add a bridge from this over this little canyon here. And I think this just does the job perfectly. It's so simple, yet so efficient uh, when it comes to like uh, the atmosphere it creates, the vibe it kind of gives us. So uh, I'm very happy with that. Uh, nice texturing, I think. Very simple. Uh, but like from the sides here, it just looks cool. The way it um, just hover above here a little bit. And honestly, I have no clue what to put here. And that is kind of the, the task for you guys today is to help me figure out what to do with this future area of the base here. Uh, I have some ideas in my mind, but I would really just like to hear what you guys can come up with in terms of future uh, things to add. Uh, we're going to, of course, just do a lot of terraforming here, uh, keeping this landscape, uh, progressing this f uh, further over here. I want to have more of these nice thermal um, lakes things, maybe have some small volcanoes and like... Um, and the spikes coming up with smoke and stuff. I think uh, there's a lot of potential with this whole idea we got here uh, from um, like the Yellowstone thing. So if we could and just play around with that, that would be awesome. But it's also going to be pretty boring in the long run. Uh, so I think we got to have things to, to mix it up here. So I have like some ideas, maybe doing like an abandoned a train uh, track that can like cross this whole valley here. I think that would be just dope if we could um let me get up here maybe like bring that like just maybe across here it's kind of narrow here or just like straight across like there and just all the way across like this big wooden bridge with like pillars going up and down uh very very western inspired heavy industrial things just going across here uh, I think that would be kind of cool. Uh, we also got plan on just expanding all across this little valley here and, and uh, keep the whole landscape uh, or this whole area here landscaped and, and like a part of the base. So we have a lot to do. So basically, guys, I want you guys to go down in the comment section and leave uh, feedback and suggestions on what we can put here in terms of buildings, maybe like scenarios. You know, this is a little camp thing. Um, and maybe we can like do other things we can put down here, which would be pretty cool. But then also uh, like farms, things we can do to make our base so much more better. So I would really just love to hear from you guys in terms of that. One thing I want to do very soon is to um, to make a little cave entrance or mine entrance here. Maybe do some automatic uh, way of getting uh, the things up and down. I want to do maybe some mine carts. I don't know, and then do a cool like uh, gold mine facade and maybe have like stacks of ores here. I think we could maybe implement that into the tents here as well. So we could have like piles of uh, coal or iron and stuff like that like in the front here. I think that would be pretty cool. And maybe stacks of gold. Uh, just kind of playing around with that um, little bit of a western uh, theme as well. It's kind of... Yeah, like a mix of Yellowstone and Western we're going on here. So uh, I think that would be cool. But uh, that's for future episode, guys. I've been using up way too much time for this. So uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed today's episode. If so, make sure to smack that like button down below. And if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigo, man. And I'm out. <laughs>